Hey guys, my name is Jason with S&J Forest Products and we're back up at Fred's place with a sawmill. We're gonna take a bunch of these cedar logs and turn them into boards and beams. Here's a look at the end of them. And I've got some pretty good logs in there and a couple that Fred's not gonna to be too happy about. He doesn't like these little teeny tiny ones like that one and that one. It's a lot of work to get them over there up in the sawmill and then cut one four by four out of. But down over here there's some nice big ones. Got to cut a bunch of six by sixes today, as well as some two by tens, and we'll have to use one of Fred's logs for the two by tens. Fred's inspecting our logs here. It looks more than four. <laughs> I need four six by sixes, but I just had the trailer loaded, so figured I'd bring them all over. There's some good logs in here. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll get our order out of the way and then we'll cut a bunch of extras, if you have time. Well, we need 20 two by tens. And we're gonna go after this big log here, I think is what he's trying to tell me. The one with the rot and the butt. So I'm gonna come up here and cut a 10 foot section of this log off. We'll see how many two by tens we can get out of that. Then if we need to, we'll come back and get another 10 foot section, I guess. And Big log.
here come the final eight. We got the first 12 on there. So that's all of our two by tens. Now we gotta figure out which of these four cedar logs in the trailer are gonna end up turned into our six by sixes. Let me go help Fred load those boards. <laughs> This one will be kind of interesting. It's got that funky little cat face right in there where it got damaged sometime in the past. Hopefully it's not a big rot pocket. What do you think, Fred? I don't know. He doesn't know. We'll see. And here's our four 16 foot long six by sixes. And you can see here the rings are super, super tight. These trees about an eight or 10 inch top. And they're about a hundred years old, 120 years old. So they were grown in the understory all suppressed the loggers came in and took all the big wood. And like this one, for example, is growing real slow. And then right about here, something happened and it started growing a little faster. And then right here, it started slowing down again. But all this wood is blow down. So it's all salvaged. And I, I would much rather have trees, but when they fall down, I figure cut them into something useful and here we are all stacked up we got about three thousand dollars worth of lumber sitting here ready to be picked up by the customer tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one